Hey everyone, thanks for joining me on the first Narlock devlog. Over the past 10 months, I have been working on enhancing my Discord community's experience. The primary aspects that drive these experiences are the features that I've programmed in my Discord bot. My Discord bot is a pretty simple focus bot. If you join a focus or study room, you will get um, tokens based off of the amount of time that you spend. And with those tokens, you can use different operations that are offered by the bot. I recently worked on a YouTube stream to Discord integration called Rogue Boss. Rogue Boss is essentially a community boss battle simulator. When used with Discord, members of the Discord server can use the tokens that they've earned from studying to help defeat the boss together. This time I wanted to create a task organizer for the members of my Discord server to help track their tasks and achieve their goals. As someone who has many different personal projects, I found that the Kanban style task organizer is one that works pretty well for me. Back behind me on my cork board, you will see that I have a bunch of sticky notes and each of them is separated into a column where each column is a project or course that I'm working to complete. Each sticky note below the heading column is a task that I have to complete that's related to that project or course. I wanted to create something like this on Discord, but I wanted to create a more traditional and simple Kanban board. In this Kanban board, three columns make up the Kanban board. A to-do column for tasks that we need to do, a doing column for tasks that we are currently working on, and a done column for tasks that have been completed. After creating a vision of what I wanted the board to look like, it was time to create a spec for how I wanted the command to work inside of Discord. I like building commands that build off of each other. I could have a single command for every single operation, but instead I think a more intuitive approach would be to have a root command. In this case, I'll call it slash Kanban. And then each operation that I can do on that Kanban board will derive from that root Kanban command. Next, I need to think about the different operations that I want users to be able to do with their Kanban board. I want them to be able to see their Kanban board. I want them to be able to create items for their Kanban board, move those items to different columns, and remove those items if they no longer need them. For these operations, I came up with a spec, so each of these operations derive from that initial slash Kanban command. Slash Kanban will simply show the user's Kanban board. I think this is a relatively intuitive approach and makes sense since viewing a Kanban board for a specific user doesn't require us to give any other input to the bot. Using slash Kanban followed by an arbitrary string of text will create that arbitrary string of text into a task that will be added to our Kanban table. By default, I don't need to be worried about where I want to place that task. I can just place it straight into the to-do column. For example, if I did slash Kanban CS 101 homework, this would add the task CS 101 homework to my to-do column. I've also designed this so when a task is created, it will be assigned a unique identification number. We'll be able to use this identification number for different operations. For instance, if we did slash Kanban followed by the identification number, we would be able to move that specific Kanban item across the board. This means that if the task was in the to-do column and we used that operation, it would now be moved to the doing column and vice versa. Finally, I wanted to implement a way to remove completed Kanban tasks from the board. I decided on slash Kanban complete. This will remove every single item that is in the done column. With this plan, it was now time to code. I started by creating a new database table for member Kanban items. I programmed operations to allow the bot to create, remove, update, and delete these items on the database. With this in place, I was ready to program the front-end interface of the bot. I started by adding the command definition for the Kanban command using the discord.py API then created the different branches I previously mentioned to make sure that we accurately track which operation the user is performing. Once this was in place, I was able to test out this command to make sure I was able to hit every single branch based off of the operation that I wanted to perform. After confirming that creating a Kanban item does not actually delete a Kanban item, I was ready to actually implement these. 
I wanted to provide a realistic Kanban style interface inside of Discord and using Discord embeds, I was actually able to do this pretty seamlessly. By adding three different fields to the embed, I was able to create three different columns. And I gave each of those columns a title of to do, doing, and done, which obviously represent the different columns of our Kanban board. Following this, I was ready to test each operation. And I will say, I think this actually turned out pretty good. However, there was one problem that I ran into, and that is that Discord embeds only allow for 1,024 characters to be on the actual embed. This posed a pretty obvious problem. If I had so many items on my Kanban board, the interaction would simply just fail. So the solution I came up with is actually something that I also plan to do from the start. My own Kanban based board that I have behind me is structured based off of project. And so that's where I introduced the tagging system. By adding a dash T followed by the tag name when creating a Kanban task, we'll assign this Kanban task to a specific tag. A tag can be used, for instance, for projects or courses. Additionally, I wanna be able to view each item if they belong to a specific course or project. I implemented this kind of view by doing slash Kanban tag followed by the tag name. This would only show a Kanban board with items that match that tag. I think this can be useful for people who are looking to separate different projects or courses just as I am. All in all, I ended up being pretty pleased with how this Kanban feature turned out. I also added some other commands too, such as removing a specific Kanban task, adding priority to tasks, moving tasks to a specific column, and updating existing Kanban tasks. I thought these commands would further enhance the experience of members interested in using the Kanban feature. If you're interested or want to try out this Kanban feature yourself, I have a link to my Discord server down in the description. Would love to see you there. Also, if you're interested in any other programming vlog style content such as this, or other self-development videos, or even study with me vlogs, consider subscribing to the channel. I do two plus hours of study with me content every single day live on this channel and I would love to see you there. That about wraps up the first devlog. If you made it this far, you were here. Thanks for coming in again and I hope to see you soon.